Globers already relegated can do nothing to help their own cause, but they can still do some Premier damage. They certainly jolted Thistle's survival chances when after less than three minutes, they gained a penalty. Greg Watson judged by referee Dallas to have used an arm to guide the ball to safety. The Thistle fans certainly didn't agree with Mr Dallas's interpretation. Peter Heatherson, though, stepping forward to take the kick and to give the Rovers the leads. The start did nothing to ease the Jags' nerves and indeed Wraith came close to increasing their lead when Danny Lennon fired just wide of the post. But the small band of Rovers fans didn't have long to wait for the second. Greg Watson and Craig Nelson colliding going for the ball, Colin Cameron the simple task of putting it in the empty net. It was turning out to be one of those days for the jittery Jags. They did manage to claw their way back. Charlie's corner headed past Thompson by Isaac English. Thistle one, Rovers two, 34 minutes on the clock. A minute from the break, the home side had the chance of an equaliser. The ball eventually falling inside a crowded penalty area to Willie Jamison. But his effort wide of the target. The tension among the Thistle players and fans grew as time ticked away, the scoreline remaining unchanged. Roddy Grant creating space for himself at the edge of the box, but his shot flew wide. Anxious moments for the Jags. A home defeat at this stage would have been Premier threatening, but they pushed forward again. Burn finding Craig, and his shot taking a wicked deflection off Sean Dennis, finishing in the back of the net, the relief on the face of everyone obvious. But all credit to Wraith Rovers, having already been condemned to the First Division, they could have simply made up the numbers at Fir Hill, but they battled from start to finish and were worthy of the point.